You may remember that at the beginning of last season, I said I was very grateful that I was going to have an opportunity to do for young directors what Joe Papp and Edward Albee did for me, which was to give me a chance in my 20s to do full productions uh, of plays on a large stage at the Central Park or at, or at a small stage at the Cherry Lane, but really professional productions with resources that most young directors who work off of Broadway or at small theaters, non-equity theaters can't have. And it, it is what moved me from being a, a young director with a lot of promise, but never having to face the really large responsibilities of doing a fully professional production. It taught me so much and I, it also helped my career of course, but I, I've always wanted to, to be able to do the same for other young directors whose work I've seen who have never had that opportunity yet and who I know will be making big contributions to the theater. So uh, about three years ago, I saw the work of Liesl Tommy, a young director who was born in, in Cape Town, South Africa, but then came to Brown University to study theater. I saw some work of hers in very small theaters in New York, and I thought, this is a really, really talented person. Then I met her and really, really smart, and very, very committed, very forceful, very full of big ideas, just the kind of person who should do Shakespeare. So I asked her what play she wanted to do, and she said, Macbeth. And knowing Liesl, knowing in a way that she has very strong social positions, strong political positions, uh, that this was a great play for her. I said, absolutely, let's do it. Well, Liesl was very excited about it. The only difference is that between the time that I offered Liesl this job three years ago and now, Liesl's become quite famous. She won a Tony Award, I mean, was nominated for a Tony Award for Eclipsed, and since then, <laughs> has been given by Disney a huge budget to do Frozen at Disneyland, uh, where she had six princesses and like a cast of 200 people. So she's already passed this little bit of stage about working on a large stage, but her ideas and her working, getting a chance to work Shakespeare is what this whole project is about. And I'm very, very glad that Liesl is going to be with us. and. I know that she's a person who will continue to make big, big contributions to the American theater in the years to come. But first, her first Shakespeare and Macbeth. <laughs>